Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. Uh, going to do a quick unboxing video today. Got myself a new track saw, which we're going to use on this little project that I'm making with my son. We're making a desk for his bedroom, which he's designed himself. So everything that we built has been designed by Tristan. And we've got a piece, uh, a panel in there that we we glued up last week. Um, that we're going to need to trim down, and the track saw is going to be perfect for that. So I've got a new track saw, uh, and we're just going to unbox it and see how we get on. I'll see you guys in a bit. This is the skill saw that I bought. It is a skill, or skill being the brand, not the type of saw. Uh, it comes with uh, a 1.4 meter track, a battery, and a charger, um, and a blade as well. So we'll unpack this properly now, and we'll see what we get in the box. Okay, so we get an Allen key, uh, the saw itself, and it's quite light in its present state. Uh, we get a battery, which also has the the test on the back, so you can check your charge. This has got two bars, so it should still go on. Uh, we get our charger, our book of destructions. Um, it does come with a saw blade, uh, 18 tooth, 165mm blade with a 16mm um, a arbor. Um, well, it's 18 tooth, I did upgrade a little bit, so I got a, I bought myself a, a Milwaukee one, which has 24 teeth, the same arbor, so I've got a spare for doing a bit finer cuts. Uh, we have our warranties, we have our instructions, we have a little straight edge guide. Um, what's in the box? Ah, that's the clamps for the track saw. Uh, dust collector port. Here we have our track saw, or tracks. I may have to excuse the voice as well, lads, because I, I am suffering from the flu. Uh, the voice isn't great at the moment, but, but on the road to recovery. So that can go there, we've got a dead fly as well, which is nice. Um, how does that go together then? Oh, I see. So this slides. Uh, let's see if there's any. Oh, yeah, there's an Allen key and some grub screws in the clamps. And I presume that this will move. Point. I think they're spare actually. Uh, I think that's going to go together like so. And then tighten that down. Spares. I'll put those back in a little box. And that's our track. I presume that that So yeah, 
right, she runs on the rail. Runs nice as well. Uh, side to side play. There is a little bit there. Which is a bit disappointing. As if we can... And adjust that in any way there isn't. So there is a little bit of sideward play on that one. Can you hear it? Okay. Well, let's fit. Oh. So, um, In. She's quite quiet. She stops really well. I like that. Okay, so for a cut test, I've got this piece of uh, solid oak. She's rough sawn. She is, uh, what is she, an inch and two eight thick. And there's a crack at the centre. We're just going to run it through at the end of this, cut this piece off, and we'll see how she cuts as a cut test. If you can see there, if you can see if it's picking up on the camera or not, uh, she's cut through that absolutely no problem. The, the saw didn't stall, there was no issues, cut through it like it was butter, and you can see for yourself how thick that board is. So, yeah, delighted. Uh, so, it turns out that when I was editing the video, um, the cut I made, the initial cut that I made on the track saw, on the actual track, didn't record. I must have figured out to press the button or whatever, it's not there. Um, so it's worth noting that when you do your first cut, there's a rubber um, trim on the edge of the track that you nibble away at the very edge of that to make your, that's your point of cut line. Um, you'll, you'll see that in a minute. Um, so we're going to do another cut just on a piece of chipboard just to show you um, and show you where the clamps go as well. Uh, we're a bit annoyed. Also, I made the cut for the desktop um, and Matt didn't record either. Um, I, I don't know why I, I, the camera's playing up or whether it was just me being sick at the time, I don't know. Probably just did it and didn't get round to pressing the button. I don't know. Anyway, um, so that footage is lost. So we'll just do another quick cut with the track saw, just to show you. So that's it for this one guys, thanks very much for watching. Uh, overall impression of the skill saw, uh, I'm very happy with it. I'm going to leave a link in the, in the description down below of the model number and such. Um, I'm really happy with it, she feels great in the hand, she's not too heavy for a battery operated uh, saw. Cuts through an inch thick, oh solid oak like it was butter. Um, I'm absolutely delighted with it. 
Uh, so that's now going to be used. It also feels a lot safer than the previous one that I had, which was a powered one, um, an electric one, on a cable, um, which I got from a well-known German supermarket. Had that for a number of years, but every time I used it, it always felt like a big accident was coming up. I didn't get that feeling with this saw. It felt a lot safer, a lot better in the hand, um, and it cuts so cleanly, it does install a brilliant motor. So I'm very happy with the price I paid for it. Obviously I got it on a cheap deal because I got it from my, my work, so discounted obviously. But I did pay for it with my own money, this is not uh, a paid review. Uh, anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I, I will see you on the next one and thanks very much for watching. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye bye.